Hello. <laughs> Hello everyone, it's Barry here. Welcome to my Virgin Kitty and I hope you are well. You. Let's dive straight into this. I put up a poll on Twitter about two or three days ago, something like that, asking about whether I do a really budget pasta meal with onions, which I'll probably still do. I've got this idea of a playlist with uh, one pound or like one dollar recipes, or homemade tortillas, which was actually my personal favorite. And da -da 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 -da, I didn't influence it in any way, okay? The tortillas won. So in this video, I am gonna attempt to make my own homemade tortillas, because as this footage shows uh, from the supermarket, uh, just caught on the vlog camera, that they can be quite expensive indeed. So you get like flour tortillas, you get wheat tortillas, you get corn tortillas, you get like the hardened taco shell ones, which I think is like a dried out one. We're not doing that today, but let me know down below how they're made. I'd like to know that. We're gonna make a corn tortilla and we're gonna make a flour tortilla. So that'd be cool. And then I'll probably make a quesadilla. A quesadilla? Of course a deer. I'll probably make a quesadilla at the end with corn and flour one. Noise! Oh. oh my gosh, I'm so glad that didn't split. So this is some very special corn flour. And there's different variations of corn flour, and that's just here in the UK. Uh, what we call corn flour, Americans call corn starch, and then there's cornmeal and all other stuff. It's kind of corny. But apparently to make authentic corn tortillas, you need this stuff. Masaka. And there's an amazing recipe on the back for something called rebanadas. Might have to try that another time. So I got this online for two pounds. That's a kilo bag. And bearing in mind for one pound 80, you can get six tortillas in the shop. It's probably cheaper to do this because the only other water, <laughs> the only other ingredient you need other than water is this. So there's no fats going in it. Some other tortilla recipes use oils or lard. So like the flour one, we use oil in a bit. So we're gonna make that. Apparently it gets very, very sticky though, okay? That's my uh, international sign language that we're creating. Food sign language for sticky. So let's do that one first and then we'll uh, do the flour ones. All right. The heck was that? You calm down please, dogs. What the heck are you doing? I love how they just sat still like going, nope. Oh, and the other thing for reference, um, Amy here, you might have seen it on the vlog. When this package arrived, it was actually two bags of flour in there. I had it on the floor next to me in the other room uh, because we're running out of mess, we're moving house. I go out for a bit and I come back and Mrs. Barry and I spot that one of the bags has been bitten into and about a good fifth of the bag has been et. And it wasn't Boston. It was a very guilty Amy. Probably would have been a bit dry though, wouldn't it? But effectively, she made a corn tortilla in her mouth with the water. Smart. This is the brand name, by the way. Apparently, the flour is called Masa Harina. Apparently, I need two cups of this. So this is one cup, about 120 grams for reference. All different flours have slightly different cup sizes, apparently. <laughs> it does feel a little gritty, though, okay? It's not like corn flour, which is really fine, hi, hi. Yeah, so it's about 240 grams. And we need one cup of water, which I think... I can't remember. Yeah, I was right, one cup of water, which is pretty much the same um, number in grams to mil, so it's like 240 mil. The only other thing you need is some salt from a pug, the head of a pug, just a pinch of salt. So we're just about ready to go here. The only thing I've realized is this needs to be warm water, okay, because we're gonna need, we need to need. Uh, the flour in this bowl for literally no reason whatsoever, other than presentation purposes for you guys. If you're making it at home, just put it in a big bowl. I've now got another bowl to wash up. About half a teaspoon of salt, which I'm just uh, doing a <laughs> doing Pug Bay. Pug Bay is a bit like eBay, except you can only buy and sell pug themed items on there. If that doesn't exist, someone should do that just for a laugh. I've taken my wedding ring and my bling off. Pour in the warm water. Leave about 40 mil in there. So there's 200 mil in there and I'm just gonna, oh, that feels, it feels like sand. Ugh. Oh, that does smell really corny actually, I like that. I'm trying to keep one hand clean and the other hand, not clean. One, because it'll make it easier to add more water in a minute, and two, because I can turn the camera off. Look, that's not uncomfortable at all, is it? <laughs> Going for the full amount. Oh yeah. Well, it's definitely starting to come together. Gotta to just keep working this into a dough, all right? Dough! <laughs> hey Homer, what am I needing? Dough! Dough, you think I've done it enough? No, I haven't. Don't you think I should stop doing this pun? Yes. I'm gonna put a little bit more water in it. It's still a teeny bit sandy. Sandy. Randomly, I was dressed as sandy one night on my stag do. Nice, huh? So about a teaspoon more water. Oh yeah. We're cooking now, guys. There's not much flour on it now, so I can use both hands to kind of <sighs> shape this. Now, apparently what we do is stick this in the fridge for about 20 to 30 minutes now. Well, hey, 
Actually, I will just do a quick giveaway. Um, there was a Twitter giveaway the other day. I am doing more of those. So if you're not following my Virgin Kitchen on Twitter, please consider doing so. This thing is one of my most favorite gadgets of all time. I never wanted to give it away, but I am going to. I'm gonna put a picture up of it on Instagram in a minute, which I'm gonna embed in this video right now. If you are following my Virgin Kitchen on Instagram and you like that post, I am gonna pick one person that likes it and they can have this. It's so cool. It makes these amazing toasties on the stove. Um, you turn it over, it's, I'm really gonna miss it, but um, I'll sign the handle and stuff like that. So there we go, enter it and uh, we move on. To be honest though, you should be following me there anyway. I do loads of behind the scenes bits on Snapchat, Instagram stories, Facebook, Twitter, everything. So uh, you're missing out if you're not. Right, Homer? You're missing out though. Come on guys, I'm here on my own today. Come on, give me a break. But what you ideally need right now is something called a tortilla press. That's what all the uh, people have in Mexico, I think. It's kind of like a metal plated thing. Pfft. I am replicating this with my DJ plates. Not this DJ plate. And I've got a few sheets of baking parchment down there. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put baking parchment on either of these, the dough in between it and roll it out. I get a couple of comments as well, people saying that like, I crouch down like this. This is my style, this is this is what I do. Because if I just stand like that, it suddenly feels a bit robotic again. I don't want to be a robot. I brought my flour and water back in because if it's too crumbly, apparently it needs more water. And if it's too uh, wet, then you can add more flour. That feels good. Really light as well, that's bizarre. So in two, four. Ugh. <laughs> Made little wedges. Apparently one of these wedges, so if we just, Manipulate it a bit. Wow, there's not much there, is there? Roll it into a ball. That apparently will be enough for um, a tortilla. Bearing in mind, we've got 15 more portions there. I guess you could keep it in the fridge or even the freezer. <laughs> Looks a bit overkill, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, mom, you sure know how to hydrate a pizza. Back to the future reference. Forget the cake boards. Wow. That's a start, and it's still a little dry. And do you know what? That's not big enough. I'm gonna I'm gonna put two in there, so we're making. Uh, we've got eight portions left. So I'm gonna get another one. I didn't roll it out the best, but that's blooming thin, and I can cut around that. <laughs> Whoops! Come on. Yes. Hey. Tortilla, it makes me have tequila. All right, so this clumsy English man is over the moon with that. I'm gonna probably try and do two more. Look, I've done three and I'm really happy with it. I'm keeping it between sheets of baking parchment. Next step apparently is we get a cast iron pan and cook them. We need to get this nice and hot. Yeah, yeah, pan's not hot. Yeah, no. Oh no! Whoops! No! <sighs> Dropped it, didn't I? Ah! Uh. I still got two more left. It's all right. Oh <laughs> no! One more left. And I'm putting that one on by hand. I ain't shoving it down with the paper like it told me to. It made it go everywhere. <gasps> I think we've done it. Ooh. We've done it. We've done it. Yes. You know what? Because it failed and I've got loads of dough left, I'm going to try and make two more. Oh, I'm getting the hang of this now, baby. I need a sombrero on. Now, at this point, you should be layering them and keeping them warm, ready to serve. And what a great idea if you're having a Mexican party to keep it nice and fresh. I feel like that Danny Trejo at the moment. Feeling really... Is he Mexican? I hope so. Flour tortillas next. Mixing bowl with uh, plain flour, 300, 375 grams of plain flour, taking off uh, exits are here, here, and here. A little pug seasoning again. And one teaspoon. Love this gadget, love it, ready? One teaspoon, Ugh. baking powder. So hopefully this is gonna give it a bit of a rise. Only other thing we need is warm water again, and this time vegetable oil. Give this a mixy mix. Get it on your counter as well, of course. All right, so now I'm gonna add in two thirds of the water and all of the oil. Woohoo! And then we mix this together and it should start to form a dough. So quite similar to last time. You can do this all in the stand mix, you know, with one of those like kneading tools, but you guys know that I like to just keep it quite basic. Put the rest of the water in. 
All right, so that's quite a nice uh, loose dough. I'm loving that. It's a good texture. It feels like I can do stuff with it. Just kneading this out a little bit, smooth it up. Bit floured surface. And now apparently you portion this into 16 again. So this dough is a little looser, but you roll it into a sort of ball shape again in, in order to press it into the shape. So this one, you press it into the shape, then let it rest. I think you can get away with either way for either flour. But based on the last tortilla, I'm gonna use two lots together and roll that out. So I'm gonna flour it. Just use my palm of my hand just to help it a little bit. All right, again, it's not the best cutting, but my bowl fits around it. <laughs> There we go, I'm pretty happy with that. So now we leave these to stand for around about 10 to 20 minutes, so it gives me a chance to make another couple more. <laughs> these are much easier. The thing I like about this method is you're using stuff that you would typically just have around your house anyway, but it is a little bit messier. Same as before then, nice hot pan. I'm gonna snip these pieces of baking parchment to make it easier to do the flippy thing from the paper. It was too big last time. Ta-da! So we're looking for a couple of bubbles to appear on the surface. Oh my gosh! Hey! That's amazing! You just want those very light marks. And then underneath, the same, not too much, just a very light browning. Oh yes, that'll do fine. Boom! Uh -huh. That's it, I'm moving to Mexico. Corn and flour. I am blooming proud of myself here, folks. So I really hope, I've really enjoyed doing this and I hope that it's been enjoyable for you and that I've inspired you to try it. I feel it's only right to celebrate by chucking together a corn and flour quesadilla. All I'm gonna do is put one tortilla down in a pan, we'll go for corn, uh, then we'll put down cheese and chorizo, flour tortilla on top, cook it away so it all melts and fuses together, flip it over, cook it again a little bit more, and then we'll taste it. Ah. <laughs> I don't really like eating tortillas dry, but I've just warmed the corn one and this is the flour one. Mm. They both taste so, so fresh. That is much cheaper than buying some in the supermarkets. Wow. We have like Mexican themed food nights here in the house quite a lot and I can see me totally making homemade tortillas now. So, quesadilla. Mmm. Oh. That is food coma territory. Don't forget to subscribe for regular videos and food fun. Follow me on social media at My Virgin Kitchen on all platforms, including behind the scenes and giveaways, just like in this video. If you do try this recipe or any of the other ones to date, do send me a picture. I love to see it. That's the whole reason I do this. And of course, let me know down below what you want to see next, and I'll try and make it happen. Nice one. Mmm. So good.